Well, more than two dozen members of law enforcement were on the run today in our region, and they weren't looking to catch criminals, but instead to help some dedicated athletes. Year after year, what an amazing program this is. Our Charlotte Ames joins us with more on the PA Special Olympics torch run. Charlotte. Maggie and Matt, this is the 40th anniversary of the Law Enforcement Torch Run, which leads up to the state's Special Olympic Summer Games. We're told this year local officers are making their biggest showing ever. 27 of them from the Altoona Police Department and the State Attorney General's Office are running the torch relay in the Altoona area. It's just for an awesome cause and these athletes are like the nicest people you ever meet. They started at the Sheets store on 58th Street in Altoona and traveled almost seven miles to the Sheets at Greenwood, where the torch of hope was handed over to state police out of Hollidaysburg. Among those cheering them on was a special Olympian from Altoona. It's just awesome to see them do this. Garen Burgett says he's been competing since 2004 in bowling, basketball, and bocce. My favorite part, just getting to see different friends. Special Olympics has also played an important role in the life of Altoona Police Sergeant Matt Plummer. I grew up around the Special Olympics. My uncle, who was more like my brother, has Down syndrome, and he did this his entire life, so it's important to me. And Plummer says so far the local law enforcement runners have raised $2,100 for Special Olympics. The opening ceremonies, the summer games, and a block party for Special Olympics all virtual again this year due to COVID will take place Sunday evening from 7 to 9. They're hoping this is the last year the events will have to be virtual. It's probably true, but can't make that prediction. Matt? Well, we do hope that it is back again next year in person because what a wonderful event it is.